Hello everyone! Today socks. I finished. Socks and those socks are for me, baby. Yeah. Brownie's sock recipe. I it's a paid pattern. You can buy it on Raverly. I will leave down below link to my project page where you can find our all useful links. They rock. Aren't they? So cute. Oh no no, I have to show you that. So we have ribbing. I cast on 64 stitches, I can tell you that. The rest is a mystery. Well, what I can tell you more about these is that I knitted them on higher, higher sharps. And as you know me, you know that's the only 2.25 millimeter needles on 100 centimeter wire that I have. Well, actually, I have two pairs, but pairs? And this is my green flower power collection uh, needle pouch. So link down below. The yarn. The yarn is the, my birthday yarn that I when I went to Dublin for a trip, and I got drops. It was on sale. One ball was one set, one euro and seventy five cents. So that gives me three fifty, isn't it? And I got more colors, but I used those too. And I used purple 104. Why do I think 12? Wait, ah, purple is 104, a green is 112. And the green is yummy. When I was filling in Raverly project, I, uh, uh, they call it apple green. No, there's no name for it. And what we have, we have over here 75% wool and 25% polyamide. Color superwash, treated sock wool. That's that. It's pretty. So what I did, I put it on weight scale. And it shows there 73 grams. And that's the first pattern that I kind of proud of that you could actually see because you can. So 64 stitches and I did longer cast than I ever done. And uh, I loved it. I didn't want to stop it because I always knew that during the heel you would have to turn because that is garter stitch. And I've never done a garter stitch uh, heel before and I really wanted to, but I didn't want to stop knitting. So it was just, oh, should I, should I not? Eventually I had to stop and I did the garter heel, which is for me first time ever and what I can say about it. I liked it, especially the second part. Especially the second part when you don't have some markers, stitch markers, which basically at the moment for me is just a piece of yarn. Um, once I finished that, when I reached this part, I meant to add something over here and I kind of knew that I have to, but I didn't, hard to say why. And I knew it was something important. After second round, I was like, you know what? Those two stitches are probably for this. And I actually took it and looked at it and I was like, yeah, isn't such an obvious. Should I frog it? And I was like, no, I'm going to knit this pattern again in the near or far future and you will do it right. I talked to myself. In my case, it's normal. Right. So I'll continue that with the foot, and I was—I had my other pair of socks, which I which I knitted with Sardar, 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 and I was thinking like I'll just place it over here and keep on going, but something kind of clicked to me, and I was, you know what? Well, I just want to see how it looked like on my leg, and I put them on, and I was. Oh my god, according to the other socks, I should still knit ish one or two, one and a half inch, so quite a bit. And that was just right. And I was like, woo, it's good that I really put it on. Then I did garter toe, garter stitch, garter stitch toe. And that's, that's something. I've never done it that way. Um, and I liked it, but I'm not a fan of sewing. So when we had to join here uh, with the needle and I don't say if it's big thingy, if I say that. Kitchener stitch. And I once tried to do that on my um, Hermione's Everyday Sock and one went okay. The other one, I think I had one mistake. So I thought, <gasps> 
oh my god, will I make it? And somehow, I'm not sure if that's in the pattern or is that my, again, a personal thing, read mistakes, is that I ended up sewing it on the front, but I think it should be on the back, isn't it? That would make sense, more sense if I made a mistake. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that that was... Uh, I will go back to it. And why will I go back to this pattern? This pattern, because it has different options for different things. There are two options for ribbing, if I'm right. I'm right. Then you have two options for calves. I use option number one. Then heel. Well, there's just one option for a heel, although there is a suggestion that we can use different one. I'm going to tell you what. And then two options. Two options for your soul too. Because if you picked option one, you should stick to number one. And I just didn't. Because I don't know. <laughs> we have for toes, we have two options. Something like this. Obviously, I can't tell you much about the pattern, but I like it. I like changes with the rows, so if row change, then it's I like that. I really enjoy that, even though it looks there's loads of big deal over here. It's not. I think it's a beginner would be okay to do this pattern, okay? With the heels and stuff, while you read it, yeah, you, you, you make it work. You will make it work. And what else I wanted to say? I really had something important. I really like this garter effect. Ay, 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 ay. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and that green is like Irish grass. I love them. I love them. I love them. And I love this color. I really do. I have some leftovers, so we shall see. Well, it was just such a fast knit. And by fast, I'm not saying that I did them in two hours. Um, probably more than that, definitely more than that, let's say 10 or something, but I couldn't take anything else. I couldn't knit anything else, even though I had, I was in the middle of another project. If something like that happens to you with these, let me know, because I won't feel alone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, whoopsie. And designer is Brownie Knits, and by Brownie Knits, I mean Gina. And Gina has her own podcast, so I will leave the link down below if you're interested. Because until the end of April, there is a cow which I entered with these socks. And also there is a discount to um, get this pattern. So definitely check her latest podcasts where you can find a discount code and get them quickly. Go for it. Well, we have different variations, so... Definitely, this is not the end. Hopefully soon I'm going to get a sub blockers. I know, I know, I said I may not get it, but I did. So hopefully I'm going to get it delivered soon. And those socks that I have, I'm going to show you during the podcast. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you next time. Go knitting. If you're interested in what I'm up to, up to date, go on Instagram because I'm addicted. And you can find me there as Knitting I Love. You can find me on Facebook as Knitting I Love. I'm all Ello as Knitting I Love too. Although maybe I just posted four, five photos. Yeah. Try to get in touch with me on Ello. That way I will post more. Motivate me. Otherwise, I see you on Instagram. Have a nice day, evening. Knitting, washes dishes, cooking. Bye! And here is the bag that I kept my project from a lovely viewer. Hey. So here I have everything I need. Use your little tiny bits of yarn to make small pom-poms.